the buyer to blow these people off. Yeah. Do the buyers have a script, the prospects? Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, oh, like yeah. They have a good system, don't they? What's their system? Questions. They ask. They start asking you questions. That's right. They, they want a lot of good information for free without making any commitment at all to you. And they, you, you only make money if you get a commitment from them, right? Right. So what is the 99% of amateur salespeople, what do they do? They get, oh, I got a prospect. I got it. Oh, let me give them everything they want, right? Right. This is another mythology to failure. There's a lot of really famous gurus out there who say, just give the prospect everything they want. And then they'll give you what you want. Okay. Right. I think that's the most biggest friggin' lie in the world. <laughs> yeah. Because I used to give and give and give some more. I used to get my car, drive hours to meet people. I used to buy lunch. I used to bring them lattes. I'd answer all their questions. And guess what they said? No. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Claude, you're great. They give you a stroke and nurture. See, they use it too, but they don't know it. They don't have titles. Oh, you're great, man. God bless you. You're wonderful. Oh, I, I'm going to tell my wife about you, you know, and we're going to do some business someday. I, I, I really believe that. Uh, so uh, let me um, let me think about this. Give me a call in a week or two. Was that, was that Nolan? Was that Nolan in the book? Yeah. That, that's Nolan in the book, right? Yep. Yep. So Before what happened? So the amateur sales guy, when the prospect says all the stroking and nurturing, thank you. And, oh, well, you know, we're going to do business. And what, what's going on in the amateur's head? He's, lo he's uh, losing. He's losing. He's like, man, he's already he feel like he's already lost a deal. No, I think he thinks he's got a deal. Yeah. He when he, when they tell going him, great. Oh, they say, think about it. When they say, I think about it, man, I, I get back with you. Well, they elaborate on it. Uh, Michael, you know what? You're thank you, man. I know you've been, it took you two hours to get here and the, to bring me the contract to look over and all this great information. Oh, yeah. They, oh, they're faking you out. They, that's a fake move. They're doing a move on you. Oh, and I love that $10 Frappuccino you brought me <laughs> ice cold. You're a great guy. Man, you're the kind of guy I like to do business with. I'll tell you what, let me look this over. I'm going to talk to my wife. We're going to be a little busy with Thanksgiving and the family. Can you can you get hold of me maybe after the New Year's or something like that? Yeah. Okay. What's going on in Michael playing the amateur? What's in Michael's head right now? I think that you I think that I'm doing a really good job because what I've been told is that in order to sell, you have to be nice and you have to be liked. And I think being liked is important, but you have to be respected more than liked. I mean, you can't just, just cave in and do whatever they want. You want to be liked, but you can't just let them run over you. Christian? Agreed. So Michael said respects. When you have somebody like that, they don't respect your time. They don't. They they're manipulate. They are truly manipulating you now. They're doing a the move on you. They're doing the move on you because their system. Think about the prospect system. It's brilliant, isn't it? Don't we all? Don't we all use it sometimes when we're not ready to buy a car? We're shopping around. We're still in that investigative stage. We we want to know prices and accessories, and we're not ready to make a commitment. What do we do? Automatic. I'll think about it. Sounds good. We, we stroke and nurture them. We go get quotes. We look. We shop, and we but we'll get all the information from the salesman or woman, and we know we're not ready to buy, but we'll get all the information, take up their time, waste it, and and no, we're not ready. And we tell them we think about it. We're just shopping. Here's another move you can do. Okay, uh, tell me you want. Uh, uh, tell me you're interested, but you're you're not ready right now. Something like that. Give me one of you guys role play with me. Uh, hey, Claude, I think you got a great deal here. I think it's a really good deal. But you know what? I, I just I got to talk to my wife, and we'll think about it and get back with you. All right? No, I, 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 res I respect that. I like a man who talks to his spouse. You've been married long. Well, yeah. Well, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, is the, we the only thing is we have a problem. A problem? Yeah, um, you're interest. You're interested in my.